Hey fellow riders, thanks for checking in today. So here's another place we took the family to that I thought I'd share. I wasn't finding a lot of information on places. I didn't get a real scope of what places look like. So that's why we have this channel. It's to help show you some of the terrain as far as it relates to side-by-sides and off-roading and OHVs and ROVs and RZRs and X3s. So here's a video of Frank Range. It's uh, Central California. It's off the 5 freeway, I believe. And um, here's some of the trails. Enjoy. Uh, by the way, if you hit the like button three times, I hear it's good luck. I will absolutely say one takeaway that we had for Frank Rains was when you first look at the trails, they look steep. And the only reason they look steep is because most of them are. Um, it's not the first place that I would take uh, a side-by-side -side or a new vehicle. Uh, try some other places. But if you like climbing and this is your thing, then you're really going to enjoy it. The best thing my family enjoyed about Frank Rains was the drive up. As soon as you leave the freeway and you take this little windy road, it was just really neat to see metal doors into the side of the mountain road, writings on the uh, grounds from high school kids, and just a lot of scenery on the way to the campsite. But once you're there, it is definitely white knuckles up the hill and um, Keep it in four-wheel drive. I always appreciate any sites that you can go straight from your campsite right to the trails that are out there for you. It's wonderful because when you have a two-seater or four-seater and you've got a larger group, everybody wants a time to get out there and experience it. So it's great to be able to hit the trails, come back, switch out some riders, and go out and do it all over again. So here in the background, you'll see as we're all getting ready and stuff, my daughter slash my co-pilot, the oldest one, is also a Zoomer apparently. Um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, these younger kids that watch TikTok are constantly dancing and moving, whether they're mu music playing outdoors or not. I took my dog. thought this would be a great time to share a little known fact with everybody here that anytime you hit the thumbs up button that another side by side is born so congratulations to another side by side being born today So I 
really appreciate that they went through the effort of building an off-road obstacle area here for everybody. I thought it was a little unique that they didn't have it closer down to the campsites um, because when going over obstacles and when um, going over different things you you may run into problems with your vehicle so this obstacle course was higher up the hill you had to take a fire road for about a mile we'll say and so if you were to run into troubles up there it's quite a distance as opposed to if they just put it at the campsite you know, a little to the west of it there's a great flat land over there I thought it would have been a great place um, for that but I guess they didn't get my email on it So the favorite of the kids by far was these up and down the hills. I don't know what they're called, but they just had a great time with it. This was really nice because it wasn't especially steep to get to. But they got over to it, they'd go up, they'd go down, they'd have a wonderful time. They just absolutely loved it. And just a little bit here, uh, you'll see me showing them my mad skills and whipping the back end out and making a sharp turn. Well, at least an attempt to do so. Another takeaway about Frank Raines' uh, OHV park here was the beautiful skies, uh, at least when we went. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous blue skies, and um, the machines just looked wonderful lit up, the whip lights in the sky, and they were felt well visible from the campground, so uh, everybody down there knew that we were close by and safe and doing well. So. Um, I think we might have seen an alien or two as well. I'm not 100% on that though. few times I got to use the lights that we have on our side-by-side -side. so it was uh, a great chance to go out there and see how far ahead of the trail we could see uh, definitely stuck to the trails that we had already discovered and knew uh, just so we'd miss any pitfalls and stuff but um, lit up really nicely uh, don't recommend doing donuts it definitely kicks up a lot of dust in front of you and just shows you a wall of fog basically but uh, really really nice to get out there a little higher up on the mountains and just see the beautiful skylines. Well thanks again for taking the time to enjoy this video with us. We had a great time out there as a family and friends with us and uh, hope you got some en uh, enjoyment out of it as well and took a little something away. Maybe you got a new destination to go to, but um, thank you. And if you haven't done it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more trails that we may find nearby.